What's up guys? So I am back from my trip to Australia. I had a real good time visiting my friends and family and making some beats along the way. As I don't have a laptop, I was using my iPad along with Beatmaker 3 to make all the beats I made on the trip. And although I really do like Beatmaker 3, I'm still much more comfortable using Machine. One of the reasons for this is that I just haven't put in as much time with Beatmaker 3 as I have with Machine to just learn all the ins and outs of it. But another reason is that I don't have access to my machine library, being all of my drum sounds, my bass sounds, etc, etc. But that is all about to change. A little while ago, someone suggested that I download this bit of software called Kitmaker. Now what it does is convert all of your machine expansions into files and folders that easily read by Beatmaker 3. As I've been having a bunch of fun with Beatmaker 3 and I've got a whole lot of space on my iPad, I figured why not give it a shot. All right, so first thing we need to do is download the software. And like I said before, Kitmaker is a file organizing app that makes your machine kits instantly ready to load into Beatmaker. Obviously there are other ways of going about this, but this seems like the easiest way. Now the software isn't free, it costs $15 US, so I'll just pay for that and download it and we'll get to work. All right, so I've just made a purchase and they have emailed me a download link along with a license key. All right, so it's pretty small file, so downloads very quickly. A simple installer and we're good to go. All right, so the instructions are drop in a library folder, Wait a moment, banks are created in bank folder. Right now I have to try and remember where I keep my expansions. I think you can drag these library folders in one at a time or you can drag in a whole bunch. So I'm going to try and drag in a whole bunch. Hey, right, well, I'm just gonna drag these in and we'll see how it goes. Now I've dragged in a lot of stuff, so I'm assuming this is going to take a while. Actually, that was really quick. Let's see what we've got. I mean, it seems to have just worked. So let's see if it created this folder. Yeah, it looks like it's worked. All that's left to do is to get all of this onto the iPad. And to do that, we must first plug in the iPad. Now the instructions on getting it onto the iPad is just to go to file sharing. Yeah, BitMaker 3 and copy this whole folder into BitMaker 3. 5.29 gigabytes, so that's pretty small. Much smaller than I thought it would be. It's still taking a little while though, so I might pause the recording and we'll jump back in when it's done. All right, so I've transferred everything over to Beatmaker 3 and this will be my first time opening up the app. Now let's go for a new session. So it looks like we just head to files, Kitmaker banks, and there we go. Let's open something from Connect Gardens. Let's try something else. off the bat is it has set everything to a one shot but I think as what it's doing is making drum kits that's kind of to be expected another thing I've noticed is that it hasn't put anything into choke grips but again, it's only a $15 piece of software. I don't want to ask too much of it.
I guess the only other thing that I missed that is in machine that's not in this is uh, being able to search by categories like urban kits or acoustic kits. But again, I don't want to be asking too much of this software. I think what it does, it does really well. And uh, really, I'm just happy to have these kits in Beatmaker 3. All right, well, this is pretty dope. I think the only thing left to do is to make a beat. Down, down. 